Hey everyone, Alex here from Computer Headquarters, and today we're going to be teaching you how to install Windows 10 onto your Asus Chromebox 3. Alright guys, so we're working with the Chromebox 3 as I just mentioned. This specific Chromebox 3 though is the i7 variant and it's the 8th gen i7. So all Chromebox 3s, I believe, are either 7th or 8th gen, but they come in Celeron, i3, i5, i7, i7 being the best one you could get. So this is the best of the best, and it's probably the one that makes the most sense for putting Windows 10, because Windows 10 actually uses more resources than Chrome. If you're here because you're also thinking you wanna change your operating system on your Chromebox, but you don't want Windows, maybe you want Linux, there's actually a thing built right into Chrome that lets you easily go put Linux onto it. We'll make a whole nother video about that. This is only for Windows today. So tools we're gonna be using to do this job are super simple. We're gonna be using a paper clip, <clears throat> a Phillips head screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and not on the camera, actually right here, boom. And a USB flash drive that has our Windows 10 image. All right, so Kyle's gonna be our technician for this job. Hello. All right, so Kyle's gonna start by using his flathead screwdriver and he's going to remove all four of the rubber feet that are on the bottom of the Chrome box. Underneath each rubber foot is a screw. So a total of four screws, obviously. And after he gets all four of rubber feet off, he's gonna go ahead and take those out. Um, he also is placing those rubber feet with the adhesive side up so that they don't get stuck to the table. If you have a hard time getting some of your screws out because maybe your screwdriver isn't magnetized like ours, you can always just get them to the point where they're all the way out and then turn the whole chrome box over and they'll all just fall out onto your table. All right, so we've got all four screws out now and you can simply just pry up on one of the corners or just turn it, si see how Kyle turned it sideways and it just kind of fell apart all on its own. There's only one cable holding the base to the motherboard, so it's pretty easy to get off. At this point, this is a really good time for you to do upgrades if you want to do upgrades. We highly recommend them if you're going into Windows. This only comes with four gigs of RAM and a 32 gig SSD from the factory. That's pretty weak for an i7 computer. We have a whole other video where we did 32 gigs of RAM and a two terabyte SSD. Go ahead and check that out in the description if you want to see that. But from here, we're going to make this video for someone that doesn't want to upgrade anything to make it really simple for those people. And it's actually the hardest to do it without upgrading. So um, we're going to go from here with just leaving the four gigs of RAM and the 32 gig SSD. And so the next step we're gonna do is Kyle's gonna have to remove one more screw from inside the computer. And if you're orientating your Chromebox the same way he has it with the memory up, it's the top right corner. So just be careful you don't do like that screw for instance, it's a flat screw. And that screw is really important. You can't do this process without removing it. It lets you, uh, I think it was right to the SSD. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that screw so we can continue with this, pro this process. All right, so Kyle isn't gonna put the feet and all the screws back together just because we're actually gonna film another video project right after this where we're going to put a huge video card inside of this and turn it into a gaming computer just for fun. But what's, what is important is he's connecting the power supply. He's gonna go ahead and connect the USB flash drive that has his Windows installation on it. That's a, a, probably a whole nother subject. You're, you can get that file for free from Microsoft. And uh, obviously you need to get your own CD key to legally activate your Windows. Um, so you can buy your Windows key wherever you want. Uh, that's up to you. So he's got his keyboard plugged in, his mouse plugged in. All right, so the next step is Kyle actually needs to get that paper clip we talked about earlier. And there is a small hole near the lock on the right side of the computer case. And you need to insert that paper clip to push down on a button. It's like a reset button. And as you're pushing that in on one side, you're gonna go ahead and press the power button on the other side of the computer case. He's gonna press Control D on the keyboard to pull up developer mode. All right, so now that we're on this screen here, Kyle's gonna go ahead and off the camera, you can't see him doing this, but he's gonna take that paper clip and insert it right back into that same reset hole and press the button. That's exactly what you need to do to get to this next step. So on this screen right here, it says press space to re-enable. That's something you don't want to do. So don't press space, just wait. Then you hear some beeps. One thing I should mention while we're here is the 
this is saying that this voids your warranty. If you don't want to void your warranty, then don't do what we're telling you to do here. All right, so Kyle's gonna press Control Alt H on his keyboard, and then he's gonna click No because we do not want to run Hangouts Meet. If you don't do this, you're gonna go into Enterprise Mode, which you also probably don't want to do. And now we're gonna click Let's Go. We're gonna connect to our Wi-Fi. All right guys, so we're now at this Chrome OS device firmware utility script page that gives you four different options. But before we even select an option, I want to mention something. That last part we just showed you, it's kind of a lot of typing and following along can be a little bit difficult in real time. So just don't get frustrated and take your time. Pause the YouTube video when you need to and rewind it if you need to. But we're gonna go ahead and move forward here and we're gonna select option two. Y enter and then you have to type I accept and remember don't do this if you don't want to lose your warranty or possibly break your whole computer now you have to type I understand and press enter and now you have to press Y and enter So this is the part where they ask if you want to back up your stock firmware. We strongly recommend you do that. We're not going to do it right now for this video, but you can go ahead and do that. We don't, we don't need to ourselves though. All right guys, so the full ROM firmware was successfully installed and we're going to go ahead and press enter to return to the main menu. And then we're going to press R to reboot and press enter. All right, so this is Mr. Chromebox's logo with the little bunny rabbit running. And if you're seeing that, that's a good sign. And if you're seeing that, that's not a good sign. Okay. All right, so we're now loading into the BIOS screen, splash screen. That was the Mr. Chromebox logo, that bunny rabbit. And we went, to, we hit escape so that we could go to the boot menu. You don't actually have to press that, but we're just showing you in case you want to. And we're selecting our SanDisk Cruiser Glide 3.0. That's our flash drive. And we're getting back to Mr. Chromebox's bunny rabbit running and we will be booting into our Windows flash drive. So we're gonna go ahead and press next. We're going to press install now. We're going to click, I don't have a product key because we don't have one. Now, if you have a product key that you purchased, go ahead and type that in. But we're, since we're doing a demonstration, we're not gonna actually put Chrome OS back on when we're done. We're gonna hit accept the license and then next. We're gonna hit custom installation. We are going to delete both of these partitions so that we delete all the Chrome OS stuff completely. And now we have just one clean installation. We're gonna click next. And then in about five or 10 minutes, we should be all loaded up. We'll come back when it's done, getting all the files ready and the features and the updates and finishing up and all that jazz. All right, so we just went into Windows. In just a moment, you're gonna see for selecting your language right here. And now we have to take apart the Chrome box again and put in the screw we removed to protect the PC.
Windows, we can disconnect our USB drive and turn it on into our normal setup. If you'd like to know more about putting more RAM and storage in your Chromebox, check out our other video. And please like and subscribe. Thank you.